this is probably gonna be the craziest end season takeover video we've done on the channel so far. As you guys know, Newcastle United are now owned by the Saudi and they're practically the richest club in the Premier League and by a huge margin. So I thought, you know what, let's have a bit of fun doing a 10 seasons takeover of Newcastle with the goal of winning practically everything as many times as possible and to do that we're gonna be Eddie Howe who is their new coach but we're giving ourselves a blank check every season yup endless money to make any signings we want and that's why I said this 10 seasons takeover is gonna be crazy that's crazy so here's how things are gonna work we've got 10 seasons to win as many trophies as possible we can make three transfers per season but the catch is We've got endless money. We can sign whoever we want. Killing Mbappe, maybe. Yup, we can sign literally anyone we want. The objective is to create a dynasty and win literally everything. But of course, we've got to sim every single game. In the comments section, I want you guys to put in how many Premier League trophies will we actually win over the course of these 10 seasons. And remember, three signings every season. So maybe I think seven or eight is a realistic assumption, but could be less, could be more. Let me know in the comments. Of course, we'll be keeping track of all the stats of our top scorers and top assisters. It's probably not going to be saying maximum, but yeah, we'll see. This is going to be a bit of a different 10 seasons takeover. It's about maximum maximizing the amount of trophies we can win so i'm really keen to seeing how many can we actually win with like endless money if you guys are excited for this one i'd appreciate if you could drop a like on the video 8,000 likes and we'll do another 10 seasons takeover video next week so make sure to go down there and drop a like in the video subscribe as well if you are new around here we're trying to push towards 400,000 subscribers and let's get started with season one all right, guys, so this is the team you guys are seeing on your screen, but most likely our team is going to look nothing like this in a few seasons. The only issue with the challenge is we've got to limit our signings every season to three. So it's going to be a bit tricky figuring out who we should sign um, in the first few seasons because do we improve our keeper? Do we improve our defense? Midfield? We've got to make decisions, which is what's going to make this video a lot of fun too. I know we've got endless money, but we've still got to choose the players to bring in. Our budget is going to stick to 1 billion for practically the entire video because that's what we're trying to replicate. So let's begin improving the team. I think you guys guessed the first signing we're making. It's killing Mbappe. Like this has to happen, has to absolutely happen. His contract's expiring. We'll get him for that 160. We've anyway got endless money, so doesn't matter really. And I just feel like there were those rumors about Mbappe potentially joining Newcastle well we'll make them come true in this video and he's going to be the one signing out of the three and he's practically going to be here for the 10 season so I just want to see how many goals can Mbappe score can he break the 300 goal mark because I don't think anyone has ever broken 300 goals in any of these 10 season takeover videos so that'll be fun to see as we try and secure the Mbappe signing oh boy there you go killing Mbappe has been signed what a transfer. All right, guys, the second transfer we've made is Ruben Diaz. Ignore the money we're spending. It's crazy, but I'm glad our transfer budget is going to stay 1 billion throughout the video. But yeah, 172 million for Ruben Diaz. I'm thinking, why not weaken a fellow Premier League club and sign an 88 rated centre back who's just 24? It's insane. He Ruben Diaz being 88 rated is honestly mad. So our back line is going to look solid now. I kind of love the fact that we can literally sign anyone we want. A bit of a different vibe for the video. I'm thinking next, we've got to improve the midfield. Maybe bring in a solid midfielder. That's what I'm thinking because we've got Mbappe up top. I love that we've got Saint Maxman. I think he's going to be key throughout the video because um, I think we can improve the left wing position at the very end. For now, Mbappe and Diaz, one more transfer for this season. It's got to be the midfielder. And there you have it, guys. Barrella is our third and final signing of season one. I actually thought we'd be winning trophies from like the first season itself, but then I realized filling up our squad with world-class players with the three-season rule, it's going to take us three seasons at least. So I guess after like the fourth season is when we'll start winning trophy after trophy. So there's that. But until then, let's just keep building a balanced squad. Nicolo Barella is our new signing. Love it. 85 rated. Amazing stats. 24. I think we've done a great job signing young talents. And yeah, I think just securing the future of this club with these kind of transfers. Love it. All right, guys, with the signings of Ruben Diaz, Barella and Mbappe, that is how the team is going to look like for the first season. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. I don't think we're going to be winning any trophies, but 
It's a good start. Season 2 will try and improve the team even more. In a way, I'm feeling maybe signing a goalkeeper would have been a better choice because you guys know how great it is having OP goalkeepers in simulations. But season two, maybe we'll try and address that. For now, I'm happy with Mbappe, Barella and Ruben Diaz joining in. Let's get through the first season and see what we can achieve. I am so keen to see how many goals Mbappe scores throughout these 10 seasons. As expected, first season, not too crazy, considering Newcastle in real life and the relegation zone. Ninth isn't all too bad, but I expected a bit more with us signing a forward of that quality, a midfielder of that quality, and also a defender. So a bit disappointed finishing ninth in the Premier League, but oh well. We also didn't end up winning any of the cup competitions, so yup, trophy less in the first season. But at least Kylian Mbappe delivered, scoring 20 goals over the course of this season. Credit to Saint Maximin as well, 15 from him. Not too bad, I told you, he's gonna be important. What about Ruben Diaz with three? Barella with a few, but not too bad, I guess. Mbappe stepped up first season. Can't wait to see how he progresses. Eight assists as well. All right, guys, that's how the stats look like after season one. 20 goals for Mbappe, eight assists for Mbappe too. That's the first season done. As I said, it's gonna be a bit of a project to get an incredible team even with endless money. Season two, let's improve the team even more. Time for season two of this insane Newcastle takeover. I love the fact that St. Maximin is 84. Keeps us away from signing a left winger, guys. So that's perfect. We can focus on other positions. Mbappe, Barella and Diaz were the signings we made. I reckon I kind of want to sign a new right winger. Because we're using a cam over there. So we'll make that signing a right winger for the team. Apart from that, probably another defender because i think we need that and i'm also thinking a goalkeeper high rated goalkeepers can change simulations guys we've literally signed the best in the business in gianluigi donnarumma it doesn't get quite better than this i told you we needed a keeper who's like super high rated and donnarumma is the best option the youngest of all the top keepers 90 rated we signed him for like 187 by the way look at this our budget does not go down that's the beauty of this video we've got basically an endless pit of cash to just use and burn and build a super team as quickly as we can so donnarumma is the first signing we've made for season two we've got two more to make this season it's gonna be interesting to choose for that right wing spot i've got an idea a certain player who is the crown jewel you could call of juventus federico chiesa he's back at fiore but I reckon he would be just insane for us in that right wing position and he's only 24 too. And there you go guys, Chiesa has been signed. Again, doesn't matter how much we paid from about 90 million or so, 97 actually, but an 85 rated right winger. Yo, the team is coming together in season two. I mean, it's not that difficult with endless money, but yeah, we've still got a job to do. We've got one more signing to make this season. I'm kind of unsure where to make that improvement. I look at the team. I love the attack. The field is like okay as such. Maybe we put Almiron there. Oh, maybe a centre mid could help. But then again, fullbacks and defense defenders could be key oh it's a, it's a tough one guys it is a very tough one you know what i think we got to improve that defense let's just get a better center back i think that's just smarter the signing i've just made oh boy marquinhos has been signed by newcastle united now the defense is just insane marquinhos Diaz, and don Ruma behind wow we've really made use of the three signings this season his stats are just insane 89 rated can't go wrong with the signing of this quality. I mean, absolutely incredible the three, three transfers we've made. I've just realized we've signed three Italians for the team. Donnarumma, Chiesa, and Barella. Interesting. Marquinhos as well for this season. One thing about Marquinhos is because he's like 28, we might have to replace him towards the end of this challenge. So there's that. But he'll give us the high rating for like a good four or five seasons. So that's the benefit. All right, guys, so that's how we're looking at for our team for this season. Mbappe, Barella, Chiesa, St. Maximin, Marquinhos, Diaz, and Donnarumma, the stars of this team. I think next season, with the three signings, we'll have completed, like, a very, very strong first 11. So I'm actually excited to see with about maybe seven, six, seven world-class players that, that we've got in the team. Where do we finish in the Prem? Is it finally time? For us to make it to the Champions League or even the Europa League, let's sim until the end and see where we finish. Okay, okay, okay. We, we, we did not just win the Premier League in our second season. I know we've got endless money, but I didn't expect this. Hold on. We won the Premier League in our second season. Yup, 
Yo, I don't think that trophy graphic that we've got is gonna be enough to fit in all the trophies that we're gonna be winning in this in this challenge. But in the Champions League next season, we've just won the Premier League. This is mad. We've just won the Premier League in our second season with those signings. What about the Cups? Did we win any? We won the FA Cup too. Wow, okay. We won the Carabao Cup too. It's a domestic treble. How many trophies are we going to actually win? Oh boy, am I excited. Kiesa outscored killing Mbappe. That is a surprise. But Mbappe, of course, has a season over him. Look at St. Maximin though. I'm pretty sure he's our top assistant now. Damn, okay. Barrella did well. Almiron up to an 80 rated. Let's go. Signings have paid off big time. Look at Marquinhos deliver with those kind of stats. That's that's pretty amazing. Kylian Mbappe is still our top scorer with 43. Great to see, but Chiesa is slowly coming close. St. Maximin now our top assistant with 18-2. That's pretty good to see. And also, we're filling up our trophy cabinet. I did not expect it to happen this early. Are we going to literally win like the next nine or eight Premier League titles by the looks of it? Yeah. But yeah, Premier League, FA Cup and Carabao Cup in season two. And we've got more signings to make next season. Boy, we might end up winning the Champions League itself. Let's get into season three. Season 3 begins now and we're actually coming into Season 3 as Premier League champions, FA Cup winners and Carabao Cup winners too. So that's mad. This season, I guess the improvements need to be maybe a better right back, a cam and another centre mid. That's what I'm thinking because the rest of the team is just insane. So yup, that's what I'm going to look to do because yeah, and we're in the Champions League this season. Can we end up winning the Champions League too? Who knows, but I am certainly excited for this season. First signing we've made is a pretty interesting one. It's a right back and kind of a different signing from Ajax. Mazarawi has been signed. Well, he was at Barcelona in this save, but 84 rated, 25. Top class signing, guys. Absolutely top class signing. Will improve the back line. So, yep, that's the first signing of three in this window that we're making. Well, we've got a Community Shield final to get through. We're not counting the trophies for this because I feel like this and the Super Cup are pretty pointless. So, But it'll be nice to win it for the first season. We win it on penalties. I guess. Ooh, let's go. We'll take it. So, yep, the community shield in the bag. The second signing has been made too, and it's Yuri Tielemans from, I think, Leicester City. That's where he was playing. So, love it, guys. Expensive, but money doesn't matter for us, guys. The oil money is funding everything. But yeah, Tielemans, 87 rated. Midfield is going to look epic with him and Barella, and we've still got one more signing to go. I think my final signing is going to be one for the entire video, because I think this is key. Phil Foden from Manchester City, we weaken a rival by signing their star prize, Phil Foden. Well, the quest here is to dominate the footballing world with Newcastle, and I reckon signing Phil Foden does exactly that. We're just going to pay whatever they want and sign our boy Phil Foden will delegate the contract to and it should be done soon. Yes, guys, it's done. Phil Foden is signed for Newcastle United to an absolutely incredible transfer. Let's just look at our team because it's bonkers right now. What even is this team, man? It is just insane. The lowest rated player is Jamal Lewis. Like, yup, it's, it's mental how good this team actually is. We need to be winning the Champions League in the first season itself. Let's see how we do. Let's go, guys. We win back-to-back -back Premier League titles. I'm not surprised with the super team we've got. So next season, yep, we're going to be in the Champions League again. But what about other competitions? FA Cup? Nah, man, we lost this to Man United. Carabao Cup? Man City ended up winning it, so only the one trophy? What about Champions League? We didn't make the final. We got knocked out in the semis by Bayern. So only the Premier League this season. And the Community Shield, if you want to count that. But... That's kind of disappointing. But oh well, maybe it's because of the lack of squad depth and that'll just only get better as we get through seasons. Now Kylian Mbappe has joined the party. Absolutely incredible stats from Kylian. Wow, wow, wow. 35 goals this season. Phil Foden, 26. Oh boy. Saint Maximin did really well. Chiesa did all right. Look at Barella, the assist king of the season. 25 assists. That is a bit mad, I'm not gonna lie. Where, where's Chiesa? Chiesa had a decent season. Barella might be our top assist. I'll need to have a check. With one incredible season, Barella has overtaken everyone for the top assist charts, and he's number one with 38 assists. Kylian Mbappe 
keeps firing the goals. He's on 78 after three seasons. Trophy-wise, we've only added a Premier League trophy to the list after three seasons now, but that's not too bad. Season 4 begins now and it's about time we start adding some Champions League trophies to our cabinet. So, yup. Signings wise, I think it's time we improve overall squad depth. So, probably a left back would be smart. Maybe a backup centre back could be a decision we make. So, yeah, we've got, we've got business to do this season. Need to sort out squad depth because I feel that's where we were lacking. Still, we can only make three signings. As I said, getting that left back position sorted was important and that's exactly what we've done with the signing of Alfonso Davies. Literally the best left back in the game, I believe. 88 rated, can't be going wrong with that. Our team, man, I swear if we don't win the Champions League this season, I'll be fuming. We've made a couple of signings together and they're not high rated players, but more like backup options that I think is smart, especially youngsters. Elish Moriba is the player I've signed for Newcastle United, about 30 million from me, 78 rated, only 21. He'd last for the entirety of the remaining season. So I think it's pretty smart that we're getting him for backup. And we've also signed Guardiol for about 44 million. Needed a quality defender to be backup. So smart couple of signings. I certainly am liking the squad with a bit more squad depth now. Like we've got a bench that's fairly capable. That's going to help us out a fair bit. The starting 11 is just bonkers. Let's get through this season and see what we can win. Another season, another Premier League trophy. We're making a habit out of it. That's three in four, I think. Just mental. And the gap between us and everyone. Oh boy, is it insane. We ended up losing the Community Shield. Well, good thing it doesn't matter all that much. We won the FA Cup. That's the, that's number two. Carabao Cup. Our oh, city takes that home. But at least we get an FA Cup and a Premier League. And... We've made the Champions League final this time. We knocked out the likes of PSG, Roma, and who else did we knock out? Monaco. Damn. Okay, we'll take it. City in the Champions League final. Fourth season. It's taken us a while to get here, and there's no way we're losing this. Let's sim this game against City. Bring the Champions League to Newcastle. I can't believe it. Our mega team has just lost the Champions League final to Man City. Oh my god. We've lost the El Cachico. Oh boy. Man City take home the Champions League. We're gonna have to wait a bit longer to win this. I am gutted. Oh boy. Stats wise, Kylian Mbappe. Oh my goodness. He has stepped up big time. 40 goals this season. Phil Foden did pretty well as well. St. Maxman again, 92 rated. How has that happened? Chiesa with a good season, but it's all about Mbappe, guys. Barella did all not too bad. Not the 25 assists like that season, but yeah. Incredible stats all run, but the 40-goal season for Mbappe. I swear there's a good chance we might see him end up hitting 300 goals. Mbappe has already crossed the 100-goal mark for Newcastle. Four seasons in, 118 goals is pretty amazing. Barella is doing well with 46, but I'm sure... He's going to have competition from other players soon. Trophies-wise, we've yet again added a couple more trophies. A Premier League and an FA Cup to the list. It's great, but I'm still waiting for that Champions League. Maybe we need to keep improving squad depth for that. Season 5 begins now, and it's kind of disappointing that we've not won a Champions League trophy yet. Like, honestly, I I'd expect that this team that we've built to win Champions League after Champions League, but that's just not how things have gone. So we'll have to, like, adjust. Probably squad depth is the main reason that's not happened, so that's what we're going to focus on this season, and we've got to start winning Champions Leagues. As I said, squad depth is what we need to improve. Our other keeper, Dubravka, has left the club, so we need a keeper. Ramsdale is the one I've picked. I think he's a good option to have. We'll have to scout him a bit to get to know more about him. But until then, Adeyemi and Anthony, I think, are great options to have as backup. I mean, it's crazy how we're going to be using Anthony as a backup option. But that's just how OP and cash influx that we've got. So, yep. We're going to use the delegate feature for once. I haven't used that in a while for both Adiemi and Anthony. And let's see how that works. First signing is done. Anthony has been signed a great option on the bench and probably even a starter in the near future. 
once we get away from using our current right winger. So I'll take this, guys. Good signing. 122 million, though. Good thing we've got way too much money. Oh, the Adiemi deal is going to go down as well. We'll accept that 63 million offer, delegate the contract, and get that sorted too. Can we also quickly negotiate for Ramsdale and sort out our backup keeper options as well? Kind of want to do that as soon as possible. Is he not on the shortlist? There he is. We'll delegate to buy him too. Karim the Dream Adiemi has been signed as well. He's the hero of the S2GFC CDs. We're bringing him in this one as well. Not too bad. And there you go, guys. Aaron Ramsdale has been signed to We Move. We've got our backup keeper sorted as well. A lot better squad depth. And there you go, guys. Signings done for Season 5. I'd be surprised if we don't end up winning the Champions League. Also, we need to win the Champions League soon because players like Marquinhos are going to soon go down in their overall. He's 31. Ruben Diaz, uh, he's, he's fairly young, so that's fine. But I think, yeah, I think Marquinhos is the only player getting a bit old. The rest of the squad is fine. But yeah, I definitely want to win a Champions League with him. So let's see at the end of Season 5 where we'll be at. No, we've actually lost the Premier League. That with probably the strongest team we've ever had. I don't get simulation sometimes. We should be winning the Premier League non-stop. But hey, we've won it way too many times. It's fine. Happens. But in the other competitions, hopefully we've not let up. FA Cup. City win that. Carabao Cup. Hey, at least we win that for the second time. Champions League. Oh boy, we're in the final. Okay, now I'll take it. And it's against Wolfsburg. This is probably our best chance of winning the Champions League. We knocked out teams like Bayern. Roma and PSG we deserve this come on guys gotta win the Champions League our team is insane let's do this uh. and nah 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 you, you can't ride this man we've lost the Champions League again how to Wolfsburg this was our chance oh my god are we ever gonna win the Champions League unlimited money and I still can't do it I guess you can't buy the Champions League that's the best way to put it that's why it's killing Mbappe just delivered 43 goals this is just outrageous he he will hit that 300 goal mark at this rate guys I think he's on track to do it 20 assists as well Varela with 12 that should keep him at top for now we've got Phil Foden with 14 and a good amount of goals I don't know what went wrong this season <sighs> we got to try and figure out because we should have won the Champions League and the Premier League. Kylian Mbappe is on course to score 300 goals. I think he's gonna do it, guys. I think he might get even more than that because he's 96 rated and he's just insane. Barella keeps hold of the top, uh, top assist the charts, but he needs to be careful. Other players are coming for it. Trophy count. All we've done is add the Carabao Cup this season, which is embarrassing. Next season better be better for us. Season 6 now, I think, is this? Is it Season 6? It might be. Yep, I think it is Season 6. Season 6 begins now. We've yet to win a Champions League, which is crazy. I think the first 11 is more than good enough to do so. But I'm thinking, if we have unlimited funds, why not just bring in a superstar in midfield? Someone above the overall of 90? That's what I'm going to look to do in this window. Probably a bit more signings here and there for squad depth. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Frankie de Jong is what I want. I feel like he'll give the balance this midfield needs. He's 29 though, but I reckon he'll give us a few good seasons. I'm just going to pay that release clause. We've got the money, so why not? We're going to pay everything to get de Jong into our midfield. I think for now, or for this season, that's going to be the only transfer. Don't want to overdo it. We'll sim until the end after this and just see where we're at. There you go, guys. It's mad that we've done this, but Frankie de Jong is a Newcastle United player. T Elements, a player of his quality, is going to be on the bench. Our squad is just cracked. I'd be insanely surprised if we don't win the Champions League this season. If we don't, I'm making big changes everywhere. All right, so I'm not going to be making any more signings because I feel like this team got to the Champions League final last season. It's more than good enough to do what it has to be done with this team. So let's sim until the end and see where this team finishes. Let's go, guys. We've won the Premier League this season with only one defeat. We're back on track by the looks of things. What about the FA Cup? Oh, we lost the final. Carabao Cup, we lost that too. Champions League? No way. We're not even in the final. What happened? On penalties, we got knocked out to Atletico. I am shocked that we, we're, we're six seasons in and we haven't won a Champions League. This is abysmal. Kylian Mbappe yet again stepping up big time with those stats. 32 goals this season. Not as great as last season, but it is what it is. St. Maxman did really well. Look at his assist too. That is 
pretty incredible. Where's Barella on the assist charts? Where's Nicolo Barella? Oh, Barella with another 13. He, he is still going to be top assister for us. Okay now, St. Maxman. A lot of players hitting their 30-year-old mark. So there's that, but disappointing season again. Kylian Mbappe is so close to 200 goals. Four seasons left. I reckon he's going to smash that 300 goal mark. Barella keeps hold of the top assister charts, but St. Maximin is closing in. Trophies wise, we've added our fourth Premier League trophy. Six seasons, four PLs is great, but no Champions League yet, and I don't know what we need to do to get that. Honestly, guys, season seven, and I'm still shocked we haven't won the Champions League. At this point, I'm wondering. What do we actually need to do? The squad depth we've got is pretty big, honestly. Maybe what I'm going to do, guys, is sign a backup, a backup right left winger or something. I don't even know who to sign because our squad is pretty amazing. We'll have to figure it out. Def definitely a defender because Marquinhos has hit 33. That's something we'll look at. But yeah, it's, it's so good, our squad, that it makes it difficult to just understand what needs to be done ahead. What I'm going to do, guys, is sign a defender from Bayern Munich. That's Upamecano. 90 rated. He's playing at Barcelona, by the way. Okay, now we will sign him up. I think that's a great transfer and a good transition to move away from Marquinhos. We'll take that. You know what, guys? I'm going to sign Trent Alexander-Arnold from Real Madrid, because why not? Yup, I'm going to do that, because why not? We don't have two right backs at the club. Now we will have two insane right backs. It's about time we just sign whoever we want to win the Champions League. And there you go. We've just completed both transfers. In Yeah, we paid their release clause, whatever they wanted. And now both of them are Newcastle United players. I don't think I'm making any more signings. I'm happy with these. But now our team has got to win the Champions League because the squad is just bonkers. Guys, honestly, look at this team. I swear if we don't win the Champions League for the next four seasons, I'll be fuming. Let's sim until the end, and we gotta do it this season. That is another Premier League, but it was tight with City and United, but we've won yet another Premier League trophy. Seven seasons in, and that's gonna be our fifth Premier League trophy. At least we've dominated England with this endless amount of cash that we've got. We also won the Community Shield this time, which was nice. FA Cup in the bag. You'll love to see it. That's more like it. Carabao Cup goes to Liverpool. Yikes. But are we in the Champions League final? Yes, we are. That's what's up. We knocked out Arsenal. What were they doing there? We knocked out Frankfurt. We knocked out Villarreal. We got to do this now. There's no way we're losing another Champions League final. I'm tired of losing these finals, man. We got to win it. We absolutely got to win it. Our team is so much better than theirs. And finally, oh my God, what a relief. We've won the Champions League final. And that's our first one in seven seasons. Anthony and Phil Foden scoring the goals. Oh boy, the relief. Let's go. Stats-wise, Mbappe stepping up big time yet again with 36 goals. What a player. What a player. He's going to hit 300. He's going to hit 300. St. Maximin was great. Barella as well just keeps racking up them assists. That's how our trophy count should look like. Champions League in the bag. It's taken us seven seasons, but now I'm hoping we can win more and more. Five Premier League trophies as well. Three FA Cups and a couple of Carabao Cups. Three more seasons. I want to keep winning everything. 229 goals for Mbappe. I want to hit 300 with him and I reckon we will. Barella with 88 assists too. Season 8 begins and we're finally coming into a season as Champions League winners and it does feel good. But I want to win the Champions League three seasons in a row. Final three seasons, I want to win them all. I don't think we need to make many improvements to the team. The squad is pretty amazing, but I've got an idea for a certain signing. Just for a bit of fun, I've managed to find Leo Messi's region. I am pretty sure Santi Rosales is Leo Messi's region. The pace makes sense. The dribbling makes a lot of sense. He's 85 rated at the age of 19. Right winger too. He's got to be Messi's region. So let's sign him up. By the way, Chiesa is 30. So maybe in the last few seasons, we might see Santi Rosales actually come through for us. So I don't mind making this signing. 
165 million for Leo Messi's regen. We've never actually signed Messi's regen in any of these videos, so that's a surprise. We'll give him whatever wage he wants. Perfect. Now, I know we've got Anthony Du at the club, so I'm thinking we convert Anthony to a left winger and keep Messi's regen as like a right winger. Because, yeah, or let me just see what foot does Messi's regen have, because that's sometimes a bit random. Oh, so he is left footed. This is 100% Messi's regen. There you go. The signing is done. I actually want to go through his stats in detail because this is the first time I'm signing Messi's regen. Have a look at this, guys. 99 pace, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot, left footed. The passing is a bit low. That is certainly a bit sus. But yeah, the stats overall are just insane. I kind of want to have him on the bench. We'll do this. Yeah, that is honestly a bit insane. Anyways, guys, we won the Champions League last season. No reason to really make any big changes. I, ha I haven't seen many players downgrade, so we can get through this season just fine. And let's do that. We just keep dominating the Premier League. One thing's for certain, money can buy you the Premier League title because we're just winning this constantly. It's only a couple of seasons where I think we haven't won it. So, yep, there's that. Another Premier League title. Community Shield, we ended up winning that too. What about the Super Cup? For once, we were in this competition. We beat Valencia there. Let's go. FA Cup. Brighton win it, okay. Carabao Cup, Liverpool. Are we in the Champions League final though? Yes, we are. Atleti knocked us out in one of the seasons in the quarters. Chance for revenge, maybe. Let's do this, boys. Let's win our second Champions League trophy. Come on. We've got the team to win the Champions League. And that's exactly what we've done. And this time, we've done it in style. Frankie de Jong. Ever since we signed him, we've just kept winning the Champions League. Mbappe scored. Tielemans, Chiesa too. We'll absolutely take it 4-1 against Atleti in the final. That's our second Champions League trophy. Kylian Mbappe, Kylian Mbappe, 40 goals this season. What a player. What a freaking player. He's nearing towards that ridiculous 300 goal mark. Varela's going to keep that top assist to the war too at this rate. Kylian Mbappe on 269 goals is mad. He might end up hitting 300 next season itself. Barella keeps hold of the top scorer charts. Trophies wise, we're on six Premier League trophies now in eight seasons. That is commendable. Three FA Cups, two Carabao Cups, two Champions League, two more seasons. Let's see what we can achieve. Season 9 begins and I'm yet to see player ratings dwindle, even for like the top top players. Maybe then we can just keep going guys, we can just keep going with the squad we have and seeing what we can achieve. Maybe Marquinhos is like the only player that's gone down. Let's sim until the end of this season without making any transfers, I think we've completed our squad and let's see what we can do. Can we win the Champions League three times in a row? That's the aim. Add another Premier League title to the list because we just keep winning it. That is number seven. Seven Premier League titles in nine seasons. That is insane. What about the FA Cup? Do we get that? No, Spurs win that. Carabao Cup maybe? Yep, we add another Carabao Cup to the list. FA Cup, do we end up winning that? Nah, Brighton beat us. We do end up winning the Super Cup against Bayern, but the real question is, are we in a Champions League final? Yes, we are against Juventus. All right, guys, let's win number three. Champions League final against Juventus. Let's win number three right here, right now, and we've done it. And it's Barella who ends up scoring the winner. Perfect. Let's go. That is another Champions League. Kylian Mbappe with a 40 gold season. He is, he is clearing. He is clearing that 300 gold mark with ease. Absolutely incredible. Kylian Mbappe with 309 goals in nine seasons. A cult hero here at Newcastle. Pretty sure he's now scored more than Alan Shearer for Newcastle. Probably, yeah. Varela with 112, but same maximum is very close. So, tough battle between these two. Trophies wise, we've added seven Premier League trophies. Now, it's tough to even figure out how many we've won. Another Carabao Cup, another Champions League. One season to go. Let's get through it. All right, guys. Final season of this Newcastle takeover begins. Oh, by the way, we haven't changed Anthony's position to like a left winger. We need to do that, guys. And where's Adiemi gone? Where on earth is Adiemi dip? Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff happening that we've got no idea about. We need to find a way to see 
what's happened to Adiemi. Marquinhos is gone, so we need like a center back. We might need a striker now because Adiemi is dipped. Let's see where Adiemi has gone. Kareem Adiemi. He's joined Chelsea out of nowhere. Oh, fair enough, I guess. We've also lost the elements. He's left the club. So we probably need like a midfielder. Maybe a backup striker. Probably a centre back too. We'll see if we can figure that out. Couple of signings made to, of course, improve squad depth. First one, Pablo Gavi. Why the hell not? 25. He's only 25. That shows 10 seasons after. Gavi was only going to be 25. The career he's got ahead of himself. It's mad. By the way, Wesley Fofana, we've signed him too for squad debt purposes. Can we win the Champions League again with this squad? I reckon we can. I've decided not to sign a backup striker because if needed, Anthony or Rosales can play there. So that's going to be the team for the final season. Let's make it four Champions Leagues. And we've added yet another Premier League trophy. That is eight Premier League trophies, I think. Eight or seven? Probably seven. I need to have a quick check. Yup, it's actually eight Premier League trophies. Absolutely insane. Well, money does buy you Premier League, as I said. What about the other comps? We won the FA Community Shield Super Cup. We won that two on pens. FA Cup. We won that too. Carabao Cup. Ah, Spurs won it. But are we in the Champions League final? Yes. Against Bilbao, we can make it four Champions League trophies, four seasons in a row if we win this. All right, guys, let's do this. Newcastle Athletic Bilbao, the Champions League final, our final season here. Kind of want to start Rosales over Chiesa for this one, because why not? Yeah, that's about it, really. That is about it. Let's sim this game, wrap up the 10 seasons takeover with Newcastle with that trophy. We've won 3-1, St. Maximin scoring, Mbappe to just perfect. And would you look at the stats, a 42-goal season from killing Mbappe. My word, my word, he's going to cross 350 goals. That is just outrageous. What a season from him. St. Maximin with 19 assists is going to cause Barella a few problems. Barella with only 12. Mbappe and all. Finally, players are going down, but thankfully, this is the final season, so it doesn't matter. And there you go. After 10 seasons, Kylian Mbappe takes home the top scorer award. And I don't think this is going to get broken by anyone in any future video. Nobody's getting over 350 goals. Like, this is nuts. In 10 seasons to score... 350. That's averaging about 35 goals every season. Barella just about edges St. Maximin for the top assist to charts because St. Maximin had like 117 assists or something. So fair play, Barella. Now, trophies wise, oh boy, that is another Premier League title. There's no space to add the number eight. But yeah, eight Premier Leagues, four FA Cups, three Carabao Cups, and four Champions Leagues. Those amount of trophies, in, like excluding the Super Cups and all, is still, I think, pretty good for 10 seasons. So that's what, 12, 15, 19 trophies in 10 seasons? I think we'll take it. I guess we're going to be wrapping up the 10 seasons takeover with Newcastle right here. It was a bit of a different one, you know, just focusing on doing whatever we want was fun, racking up trophies. Next week, we'll do maybe something different. But yeah, for a change, this was pretty fun. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate you dropping a like in the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. As I said, 8,000 likes. Another takeover video next week too. And we'll have something different going on for that one. But yeah, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.